Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another great PrestaShop video tutorial. So in this video we will see how we can display all categories a product belongs to directly in the product page in PrestaShop. What I'm going to do is I will go to controllers, front and I will open up productcontroller.php. As always, a best practice would be to use an override instead, so I'm doing this just to be quicker. Scroll down till about line um, 290, and right before the uh, Smarty Assign, I want to add some code. So we said we need all categories. Presto Shop has a nice little method that's, that fits our purpose named get product categories full. So, categories or actually uh, product categories equals it belongs to the product class so product and it's a static method so get product categories full and accepts the product ID as argument all right this will give us an array of the categories the product belongs to with the ID, uh, the name, and the link rewrite. Now, to display them, we obviously need to assign this variable to the template. So, write down here, product categories, product categories. Okay, save. Then let's open up product.tpl. So it's in the uh, themes, as you can see, default bootstrap product.tpl. Just to briefly mention it, if you use an override at this point, just make sure you clear your cache and class index.php file. So I want to add my categories, um, let's say right above the more info block. This is just slightly modified from a previous tutorial. So I will look for more info block here and right above I will use if is set product categories and product categories so if our product has categories section I will use an ID equals product categories and the class is going to be page product box so that it looks like the other boxes then I'm going to use an h3 as title and it's going to have a class equals to page product heading and it's going to read all categories this product belongs to get rid of mud and then I will use an all with class clear fix because I want to float the list items inside it now inside this all I want to loop through the categories so for each and I will use uh, an expansion here, so uh, it's just for each from product categories item product category. Now I want to make sure I do not display the home one because usually it doesn't even have an image. So I will use if product category, so the current category dot id category is different from two which is uh, usually the home category but make sure yours matches as well especially if you're using a multi-store environment so for the list item I'm gonna add some inline CSS and uh, feel free to use the global or product.css file instead so I will float to the left and then I the margin right equals and oh, 30 pixels okay then for the actual link because I want to use a link um, I'm gonna use a little trick 
to display the image as a background so that the title fits on top. And this will probably be different in your case depending on your category, uh, your category images and overall design. So I'm gonna use an anchor tag and it's gonna link to link get category link product category dot id category as well as product category dot link rewrite then the title and content are gonna be product category dot name easy enough to remember now style inline css again this is going to be a bit tricky so make sure you follow uh, slowly so first color white i want my links to be white because i have dark images for the categories then padding 10 pixels then height is going to be 40 pixels width is going to be 250 pixels again you might need to adjust this depending on your images display block and then back ground dash image URL and then I'm going to use link get cat image link and it's accepting the link rewrite so product category dot link rewrite as well as product category dot id category category all right then lastly i want to set the background size to 250 pixel width auto height all right we should be done now, let's see if I did everything correctly. We'll refresh. Yep, seems like I did. Cool, let me just check what's wrong with this margin, button margin. So uh, the class is clear fix, not clear fix. Okay, great. Now if I click, I'm taken to the corresponding category. All right. So we're done. This is everything for today's video. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.